If you think that this is about marriage, you're wrong. This isn't about marriage. This is about denying a group of people the same rights that everybody else has. My problem with this whole entire issue is government. Uh, the government has no business to be in the business of marriage. It has no business being involved in private relationships. The government has no business being all up in your bedroom or being all up in my church. End of story. Dana, um, you know, your, your argument that the government shouldn't get involved, it confuses me a little bit because they're already involved, right? We've already not given rights to a whole section of people. And what the, the judicial branch is trying to do right now is award those people rights. They're not regulating, they're not limiting the rights, they're giving the rights. In the Declaration of Independence, it is abundantly clear where from those rights originate. Uh, it says that we are endowed with certain inalienable rights. Those rights are given to us by our Creator. I'm a person of faith, and I believe that marriage is a, it's, it's a divine creation. I do not believe that man created marriage. My problem comes from when the state intervenes in a religious matter. That's the problem that I have. I don't see marriage as being religious necessarily. Maybe at one time it was, but not anymore. I'm not religious, so I got married. I feel like there is so much about this gay marriage issue that I'm always a little mystified because I'm kind of like, oh, who cares? Like, I kind of don't care. It is not an issue that I'm going to take to the streets over. I know I'm not. I don't care whether you call it civil unions, marriage, whatever. I don't care. I don't think marriage is so freaking fantastic that uh, it needs to be preserved. I have no problem with with civil unions. I have no problem with people being able to get insurance policies together and being able to be uh, recognized in a system of law as a couple. There are a lot of people, I think, who say, well, that, who have said to me, oh, well, that's just a separate but equal situation. That's like segregation. Well, here's my whole point, and forgive the unbelievable layman's terms in the way that I'm putting it. You can't walk into a Taco Bell and order a McGriddle because Taco Bell doesn't have McGriddles sucks, I know. You don't get to say to somebody that because of how you love, no, because they love the same, because of who you love, that you get less rights. That is obscene. It is shameful, it is obscene, and it's un-American. It is homophobia. It is saying that people who are gay are not, not quite that they're not human, but that they're not as human as we are. They're less than. And by not giving them the same rights that straight people have, we're tacitly allowing homophobia and violence against gays to continue. I want my kids to understand that this is a debate and I want my kids to know that should they choose to marry someone of the same sex one day, that we were here, that we were marching and supporting their right to do so. This is sort of you know, one of our final steps in a true civil rights movement. We had civil rights for minority groups, we had women's rights, and now we have everybody's rights. Because this really is everybody. When the dust settles on this, you guys, where are you gonna stand? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stand for something? Join the Momversation at momversation.com.